the super thick wall. Right, anybody who likes watching jet washing, sorry about that. Battery died so. Whew, 20 to 5 is alright.
you like a bit of getting jiggy with it from Big Willie Smith? I'll uh, bring you to an end. Uh, today's close check up three, some three bangers back to back to keep Britain building. Uh, before that, we heard the France Fed band, of course, and kicking off uh, was uh, the uh, a real rock and blues classic of Duke of Burton. Uh, anyway, you can hang your hypers wanted for another day, because it will return at the same time tomorrow. Uh, right, we're talking today about four-day weeks. Is it possible to cook a bank holiday? You're getting used to it. Is it something you can do, you think you can do, uh, or not? Uh, 81400 on the text. Text the word fix first in the message. Or you can direct message me by the Fix Radio app. Uh, Kev LVT on Instagram says, When my first daughter was born, I moved my week forward a day. I'd work Tuesday to Saturday and spend the day with her. Uh, we'd save on childcare and I'd got one-on-one -on -one time to bond with my daughter. One of my better decisions. I love that. Uh, Spud Hewish, he said, uh, we would prefer a four-day weekend or a six-month holiday twice a year. Sounds good to me. I don't think we're going to get away with that. Uh, Dean Saxton, our good friend from Dean Saxton Daily Solutions, who is hopefully recovering well after his operation, he says, yeah, 100% I would. Definitely. Uh, Orchard Carpenter says, so reading the comments and my thoughts 10 years ago uh, were six days, possibly sometimes seven days a week. A week. I turned 40 and started to struggle a bit after getting pneumonia that took two years to get over. Working on my own can be tough. Turned 50 and now I'm struggling. Four days does sound good. Uh, but now I need to find work for me and my apprentice. Uh, it's hashtag early week wins. But look, listen, you've you worked very hard, clearly. Um, and I think it's very important to get that time to, to recovery time. You're at that certain age. So don't worry about that. Uh, Dean Dudley says, I'm currently on a no day working week, so a four day working week would be great. Well, Dean, I wonder why that is. No work or you're not very well. Wayne Moss says, I know a lot of bricklayers at the moment would love a four day week. Uh, tape slow reviews, so I'm thinking about doing nine till ten. Uh, not till ten every day with an hour break. Hell of that. Uh, Steve and Alex say, hell yes. I need to rest my hip. That's Steve. He's, he's waiting for a hip operation. Uh, Chris says, uh, chance of it, fine thing. Pension age being increased, cost of living, etc. I'll be doing six days until I'm in the box. Oh, I don't think you like that. Uh, Rip to Rip says, if we could experience one year of your money, we probably would never work again, ever. First in the message, or you can direct message Paul Simon of Acorn Guess What It Is. Uh, and uh, also, we can speak to our very good friend Dan uh, from the Job and Not podcast and News Crowd to find out whether he thinks a four day week is suitable for him. The Clive Holland Show on Fix Radio with Wix Trade Pro. Join now and get 10% off every time you shop with no minimum spend. It's always cheaper with Wix Trade Pro. Terms apply. With a huge range of products under one roof. Available to click and collect in one hour. Or get a free bulk delivery to save you a trip. Just spend less time shopping around and more time on the job with trade points. Selected products and locations. Bulk delivery minimum spend 100 pounds with kitchen supply. See trap on your code on UK. Give me a C!
At Fix Radio, you know that we've always got you covered. Covered for great music, entertainment, and industry discussion. And now we can cover your business too with Fix Protect. In partnership with Markel Direct. Straight talking, personalized, straight business insurance you can count on. That's robust, easy to understand, tailored to your needs, and great value too. Fix Protect, the builder's insurance. Powered by Markel Direct. Find out more at fixprotect.co.uk. T's and C's apply. The Clive Holland Show with Wix Trade Pro. Shop the latest spring savers. A selection of their best deals right now and use your members' discounts on top to save even more. So right now, members pick up a 2.4 meter in the yet. day board for £8.10. Shop now in store or via the Trade Pro app. That's on top of that. Oh, 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 
Right. Whew, 20 to 5 has arrived, as you can see. It looks like a bomb site. So my task is to clear up out here. While Alex is about up to there with the uh, pillars. It's probably about 180 piece now all the way up, both sides. Um, yeah, about 170 maybe. So he's on with that. I'm going to clear all this up into one big pile because the skip's coming tomorrow, which is a pain. Could have done with it today, so we've got to come back now. So all this is to go in. Got a bit here. And all that down there. As you can see, my brickwork's finished. Just wants jointing at the top and a bit of a brush. And take that plastic off, make good around the, um, the stools. And a good brush. Put all the gear away. I've got a few cuts to do yet for the inside. I've just about got enough bricks left over for that. Just a bit more tidying up and then um, I'll see how this is getting on. If he needs any help I'll give him a hand. But um, I think we'll probably finish about the same time here. So yeah, let's get stuck in. Camera probably picked this better than I can see it because it generally does well in, dark, in the dark. So <coughs> there's Alex's afternoon's work. <coughs> Lovely job. Cavity slightly bigger than 100 because it's a 325 pillar. So oh. all insulated. Block works up. Little pillar to reduce it in to match the brickwork. And there's the temporary window. Robbies are coming on Thursday, so they'll be probably fitting that window probably first get some light in here so they can work actually they'll probably take the window out and get the gear in before they put the window in um, all that's left to do now is just run run a wall there out of whatever we can use because it's next to nothing up there so I'm just going to use all the off cuts hope the mortar doesn't run out I think it's to a brick with no bed but this is to sit the stud on that's got to come through here um, I'll show it Lovely. Alex has made a lovely job of that.
beautiful been a long day but a satisfying one it's done well so uh, the top there that can be foamed before the plastic the plaster goes over it and just a, a spare box to go outside and then we're back tomorrow when the skip's here to tidy up give the jar drive a good wash and clean down and that's us so as soon as i've done this it's put this back on and Alex can go out that way and we can skedaddle um, yeah, let's get cracking on this That's our father more to tuck him. So we'll just get a little bit mixed up tomorrow and then obviously we'll add some buff to uh can't see it from this side but fill in the, the sill. <coughs> so we'll catch you tomorrow. And we're back. I get this dies down a bit when it's dry. It should lighten up a lot of that. It's only the day after, it's not even been up 24 hours yet. So we've got um that to point up, which we're gonna have to do carefully and cover it. I have to dry that first and um, all this to move, drive to clean and a bit of patching to do inside. So let's start by getting all this cleared up. Right, anybody who likes watching jet washing, sorry about that, past few died so this is all done. So all the crap's gone down into the aqua drain so I'm just getting all the silt out. Once that's all out I'm going to give it another blast and clean the all, clean the, um, clean all the grids, give them a blast so they're nice and black going back in. So then, let's get this cleaned out.
Right, I've just come back to the garage conversion and I've come to do that, but the robbers have beat me to it. So there you go. That's our bit. Let's take you inside and show you how it's looking inside and explain about the floor. Is the super thick wall. And then this is what we've got inside. So the customer's doing it himself. But so he's had to put the fairing strips in, cut them himself to take the, the fall out of the floor. And then he's just getting as much insulation as he can as he can, because it obviously it comes to nothing. And then there'll be like an insulated underlay goes over the top there. So there won't be any cold spots as, as you but um that's as much insulation as you can get in. It's a nice big room. Which no start to sheet. Yeah, all plastering done. Looking good. Or oh, signed off by the building control. So when I see Alex later, I'll get him to do a an outro. Hi, it's uh, me from the kitchen doing the outro since um, obviously you just saw the uh, where, it's, where it was up to. So uh, I guess I'll say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, garage conversion series. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you're always notified when we upload. Massive help and we appreciate that support. Uh, any additional support you want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or the PayPal in the description, but that's not necessary by any means. That's just a extra way of saying thanks, which obviously just goes a long way. But like I say, your watching and support is the best support you can do. So this is Brian Bricklay with Stephen Alex with a with a garage conversion that I can't point to because I'm not I'm not there, and we'll see you in the next one.